Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan. So today I am at Aldi and after this I'm going to go to Walmart just to get a few things that I need. But this week is a little bit different because I'm going to be going out of town for work. I'll be gone Monday through Friday and so Adam will be solo dadding with all the activities and dinners and stuff. So I have a few things that I'm going to get prepped for him today and that will be posted in a separate meal prep video. But I'm going to go to Aldi first and try to get most of my produce and dairy and all the things that I like to get there that are cheaper. And then I'm going to head over to Walmart to get like the personal care stuff that I need and paper towels and stuff like that. So when I get home, I will show you what I got. Okay, so I spent $140 at Aldi and then I went to Walmart and spent around $100. So at Aldi... I tried to get all my produce there, so I got some baby carrots, I got two mangoes, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut these up for the kids to have um, during the week with their fruit, and then I got some red grapes, I was out of limes, so I got a bag of limes um, from Aldi, I always get my lemons and limes from there, they're cheap and they're really good, um, I grabbed some bananas, some tomatoes, uh, I got two one pound containers of strawberries last week I just got one container and Connor ate it all in one sitting and so I'll cut these up today for um, them to have during the week I got one uh, package of celery and I also got some more of these mini cucumbers which I got last week and the kids like them dipped in ranch um, I got two of these salad little salad bar salads for Adam to take to work for lunch so one of these is turkey bacon cob salad and the other one is Santa Fe style I believe they're like $2.89 um, they're not super big but he can take those with a can of soup for lunch to work um, I've also never got these before but these are the sliced apples and caramel I normally don't buy things like this but since I'm gonna be gone this week I decided I would get some of these for the kids to have I think they were like a dollar 19 which is pretty comparable to what you can get them for at Walmart okay so for dinner tonight I got some um, salmon the Aldi salmon is actually um, pretty good I like getting it from there and then I do not like buying ground beef at the store but we haven't got ours yet and so um, I just bought two pounds of the 90-10 um, to make taco meat for this week I got some ham lunch meat and then two packages of the turkey snack sticks which every time I go to Aldi I get two packs of these and we use them for snacks and the kids sometimes take them for lunches I got some turkey pepperoni um, this is really good and this is something I usually buy every week also I got some Braunschweiger for Adam. Someone actually commented the last time I bought it from Walmart and said that the Aldi brand is really good, so he can try that. I got one jar of Alfredo sauce, a can of olives, and then two cans of soup. So one is baked potato with cheddar and bacon, and the other one is sirloin burger with vegetables. I got some vanilla Activia yogurt for the kids, some mango tangerine juice, I got a bottle of um, Chardonnay for the scallops I'm going to make for dinner tonight. And then I also got some cooking spray. I don't think I'm out of this yet, but I wanted to have a backup. And then I got just a half gallon of 2% milk. We don't go through milk very fast because we don't really drink it. We just use it on cereal and for cooking and stuff. And then I bought this last week and I decided to get it again because Connor really liked it. It's the chocolate almond milk. And then I also got some half and half for coffee. Um, I got one loaf of the white Italian bread. I've bought this before, and it's just like a really good soft white bread for sandwiches. Um, for the kids, I got these strawberry fruit strips. These are actually, I feel like they're a little bit pricey at Aldi. I think they're around $4, but um, it looks like there are, how many in there? 21? Oh, I guess there's quite a bit in there. Maybe that's why they're so expensive. Um, I got a package of English muffins to use for breakfast sandwiches some dried mango. Kira really likes that. And then I always get these to the cheese dip and breadsticks um, for a quick snack for the kids. Um, I've seen these before but I've never bought them. This is the perfect bar. It's just like a protein energy bar. Um, these are actually in the refrigerated section and they say that they are out good out of the fridge for um, a week so you could put it in your bag or whatever but 
This one is chocolate hazelnut crisp. So um, if you've tried these before, let me know if you like them or not. I got some cheddar cheese sticks and then also some chicken nuggets. Uh, these are the chicken breast nuggets just to keep in the freezer for a quick dinner. Um, I got one of the white cheddar popcorn. Um, I normally get like the white cheddar smart pop if I get it at Walmart, but I'm assuming this is pretty much um, comparable to that. And then I haven't bought these in a long time, but I also got some of these veggie straws. The kids um, like these for lunches. Uh, I got these cheddar filled pretzel bites from Aldi. I have never seen these before. It must be like a seasonal thing, um, but I thought those looked good. And then uh, a bag of pretzels, um, just the regular mini twist pretzels. These are like 65 cents at Aldi. Like you seriously can't beat that for a bag of pretzels. Um, I have not been buying these super often anymore, but um, I figured since I was gone this week, I would get these so the kids could have them for breakfast for a couple days. These are just the mini chocolate chip muffins. And then also at Aldi, they've had Propel. Um, they had grape, kiwi, strawberry, and berry, so I got the grape flavor. Um, and then I this must be just like a special thing. They don't always have this at Aldi either, but these are like the eight-pack of breakfast cereal so it comes with Lucky Charms, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Cocoa Puffs, Cheerios, etc. So this is nice to have because sometimes the kids like different cereals and then you don't have one box that goes stale. Um, I got some hot dog buns and some cheese crackers. These are the kind in the little bags um, so they can grab those for snacks. And I think that is all I got from Aldi. Um, so from Walmart, I got some Diet Cherry Pepsi, and then I also got some of this Clear American Black Cherry. It's just like a um, flavored water. Oh, actually, I got this at Aldi, too, this Diet Coke Feisty Cherry. Um, I got some frozen broccoli, some shredded lettuce for um, walking tacos, some Doritos for walking tacos, we were almost out of pancake syrup, and this is always the kind I buy. It's the Aunt Jemima Butter Light, so I'll just keep that in the pantry. I got some sugar-free French vanilla coffee creamer for Adam and some sugar-free Rockstar for him, too. Um, I got 18 eggs because we were totally out of eggs. And then I also got some um, strawberry Uncrustables for the kids to have on hand for lunches if they want to take their lunch this week. Uh, I got a bag of pizza rolls. Kira was asking for those the other day, and we didn't have any. Um, I've been buying these six-pack of the ranch dressing, the Lighthouse Ranch from Walmart. It's only $3, and it's been on an Ibotta rebate, but these have been good to keep on hand to eat, like, carrots and ranch or just raw veggies and ranch or even just to use for a um, salad dressing. So I've been liking those. And then I also got some apple strawberry go-go squeeze applesauce for the kids. Um, I grabbed one can of soup from um, Walmart. This is the grilled chicken and sausage gumbo. Adam's been taking soup and salad for lunch to work. Um, I got two cans of SpaghettiOs if the kids want to have those while I'm gone. And then I grabbed some hair ties because there are two things that we can never find in this house and that is hair ties and chargers. So I got those. And then I got some socks just for myself to wear with tennis shoes. These are the kind that I usually like, the no-show socks, and I thought these colors were cute. Um, I got this. This is actually in the jewelry section, and it says it's an embellishment storage box, but um, I'm looking for a way to keep like my jewelry organized when I travel, so like earrings and necklaces and stuff. And I thought this would be good um, to put that kind of stuff in. So I don't know if you guys have tips for traveling with jewelry, let me know. But I thought that would work well. And then I was almost out of lip gloss, so I got some Neutrogena um, Lip Soother and some of this um, Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I've tried this one before, but I haven't tried this one. I actually had a Revlon lip gloss that I really liked, and they don't make that color anymore, so I had to find something else. Um, I got a travel hairspray, some toothpaste, and then we were almost out of soy sauce and um, sesame oil. This is not something I use super often, but I always keep it in the refrigerator for recipes that need it. I got some hairspray because I was almost out of that. Some um, Easy Mac, the Velveeta shells and cheese um, for the kids to have this week. I got some treats for Murphy and then a uh, box of garbage bags. I've been buying the Walmart brand ones and they actually work really well, so I don't have any complaints about those. 
And then the only other two things I got were some paper towels. These I actually got from Aldi. I decided to try that brand just to see if they're decent. It was only $6 for a, a six pack. So if those are good, I'll probably keep buying those. And then some toilet paper. So let me show you the meal plan. Okay guys, so I actually forgot to film the meal plan part of this grocery haul video last week when I filmed the actual grocery haul. So this is actually the following week and um, we've already gone through everything, but I just wanted to film it anyway just so you could get a sense of what was on the meal plan. Um, I actually just got back from traveling a couple days ago. I had to spend an extra day in Dallas due to a snowstorm and then I ended up getting the flu and so if my voice sounds a little bit uh, raspy that, that is why but I think I'm finally on the mend now. So um, this is what I had planned for Sunday and that's what we actually had was um, I made some scallops in wine sauce and I can link that recipe that I found online down below. Um, I baked some salmon, I made couscous and green beans, so that's what we had for dinner. Um, and then these days, just Monday through Friday, while I was gone, um, I had this stuff prepped in the fridge for Adam to make for the kids, and this will be in a separate meal prep video, but one night I had um, prepped chicken alfredo with pasta and broccoli. Um, one night was hot dogs, veggies and dip, and chips. Um, I also had some taco meat in the fridge so that they could have walking tacos. And then this was the only meal that they did not eat was the pork chops that I made up. And then I had mac and cheese in the pantry and fruit in the refrigerator. Um, Friday night, I'm not exactly sure what they did. Maybe they went out or um, ate chicken nuggets out of the freezer. I'm not sure. This was actually the night I was supposed to come home, but there was a big snowstorm. Um, and then Saturday, we actually just kind of hung out at home. Like I said, I wasn't feeling good. We did go out to eat after they picked me up from the airport at Granite City. Um, but yes, that is this week's uh, grocery haul and meal plan. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.